Welcome back, everyone. This is going to be the last video in our series about uh, configuring SD-WAN uh, with GNS3, and that's because if I go any further, it's going to turn into a course instead of just a simple tutorial about, you know, bringing it up in GNS3. Um, in our topology, just a quick reminder, we have Internet and MPLS up, and we have R1 able to ping R2 through the fabric, and it's load balancing. And we can confirm it's load balancing by going to simulate flows here, taking a look, uh, 10, 22, 1, 1, doing simulate, and we can see we're using both the MPLS and the biz internet. Now, if we go to one of the VH routers, I also wanted to show this, because this will come in handy later. We'll do a show IP route, and we can see that the routes that we're learning from site one, or site 11 actually, um, we're learning them from both MPLS and Biz Internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a policy. Now, I want to create some lists beforehand because this will come in handy later. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a T-lock list. And this list is going to be site 11. And we're going to call it prefer MPLS. Site 11, this is the system IP of VEDGE 1. All right. Going over, actually, we're going to do MPLS first. It's always IPsec or, or GRE, by the way. Um, and we're going to set the preference to 200. And that's because on our second T-lock, which is going to be Biz Internet, we're going to set this preference to 100, which is less preferred. So we're going to prefer from site 11, the MPLS routes over the biz internet routes. So I'll save that. I'm going to add a second TLOC list. This is going to be for site 22, prefer MPLS. This is going to be the exact same thing, but with the different site. So it's 22, it's MPLS, it's an IPsec, 200. Going to add a T lock, uh, 11, I'm sorry, 22, biz internet, IPsec, 100. So now we have two T lock lists for preferring the MPLS routes. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to make a site list, which it looks like I actually already have one pre created. Um, I guess I forgot to remove these before I started the video. I could show you what these are. These are, well, I'll delete one of them because I don't need to create both. So we'll delete site 11. Actually save us some time in the video. So the name of the list, we're gonna call it site 11. And all you do is just add the site here, simple. So now we have two lists, one that has site 11 in it, one that has site 12. Um, we could, if we wanted to, we could make a list that was, uh, actually, no, let's do that. Let's make a branch list and let's do 1122. This actually will probably be a lot cleaner for us. So let's do branch 1122. Other than that, we don't need any more lists. Um, now we just need to make our centralized policy. So we have our list created. We can skip this section. We're going to do a topology here. We're going to do custom control and let's call this um, prefer MPLS. MPLS. And now we're making basically what is a route map. So we're going to click route, make a new sequence rule. And what we'll do is we're going to make a site. And let's say from site 11's perspective, we're going to accept routes for this T lock list. And it's going to be site 11, prefer MPLS. All right. Um, actually, I did that backwards. It should be, no, we're good. Sequence rule, we're going to do the same thing for site 22. 
accept, tlock, prefer. So this is very similar to a route map. If you're familiar with BGP route maps, you know, we're, we're matching if the route is coming from site 22, we're going to set the preference for MPLS to be higher. If the, you know, let me save this before I forget. If the site is 11, we're going to match this, you know, we'll match the route map and we'll set the, the T lock for MPLS to be more preferred. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to default action, just like usually in our route maps on Cisco iOS, we're just going to accept all, make sure we're not rejecting anything else. Because we're not actually trying to reject stuff, we're just trying to prefer MPLS uh, for those site to site connection between those two routes. So now that we have that there, we can next and we can next our way through traffic rule as well, because this is for uh, you know application aware routing, things like that. We're not doing that here. Let's create a policy name. And this is our centralized policy. So we're just going to call it central policy. You can only have one central policy that's active. You can have multiple central policies, but only one of them could be active. Uh, so now we need to create our site list. Now, it seems weird that we already created our site list, but remember that was just like a route map. So all we did was match match traffic or match routes um, and assign different preferences. This is where we actually have to configure which sites to push this to. Now, this inbound and outbound is from the perspective of vManage. So remember, vManage acts like a route reflector, and uh, like a BGP route reflector, but for OMP. So R2 sends its route to vSmart. It doesn't send its, I mean, not R2, VH2 sends its route to vSmart. It doesn't send it directly site to site. So outbound means from vSmart's perspective outbound. And what we're gonna do is I'll set my branch list here. We don't need any inbound. We're not, we're not setting that there. We're sending it outbound. When site 11 learns about site 22's routes, it's going to use that route. So we'll add that there. And now we'll save our policy. And now the awesome thing about this is we don't actually have to push it to the templates. All we have to do is activate the policy and it will be activated to the reachable vSmarts. So this is really the software defined part of SD-WAN. Um, the control plane lives on the vSmart. The control plane does not actually live on the devices. So it's doing all of our um, policy for us. Now we can see push vSmart policy was a success. So we'll do two things to verify this. One, we'll go back to our VH2 where we saw we had multiple routes for each for, you know, so let's focus on this one. Um, 10, 11, 11, or actually, let's focus on this one, 10, 11, 1, 0. So we have two routes for 10, 11, 1, 0, one over MPLS, one for biz interval. Let's go ahead and run show IP route again. And now we can see we only have one route for it. The TLOC IP is that, but the color is MPLS. So we didn't even do anything to this router. And if we went to VEDGE 1, we should see the same thing from its, its perspective. Show IP route. And again, we could see the, the ones coming from site 22 and PLS. So if we went up back to where we were at the beginning of the video, network, the edge one, troubleshooting, simulate flows, VPN one, let's do that destination. And let's simulate it. Now you can see we're just using MPLS. So with a quick policy, we didn't even have to push it to the devices. We just pushed the policy directly to the vSmart. We were able to force all of our traffic over MPLS for our site to site connection. So that's it for this course. Um, I may make SD-WAN videos in the future, uh, but I really just wanted to make a uh, you know, kind of a complete from zero to something, you know, uh, how to spin up SD-WAN in a GNS3 environment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll see you on the next one.